All right, so what we're gonna do this time is we're going to add Bootstrap and jQuery to our page. Uh, we're just gonna add like the framework such that we can use them. We're gonna make a little test uh, to know when we're successful. The test that we're gonna add is, um, you can actually type code uh, down into this console area. So if you know you do a, uh, I guess I should have shown how I brought this up. It was right click, inspect element anywhere in the page. Um, and you can actually type code down in this console area. So what I've got now is I've got uh, my FisherDS moviequotes.appspot.com. So this is my, my solution. It's currently set up in this way. And if I type a command, uh, I'm not going to type it. I'm just going to bring it up here, that uses jQuery and Bootstrap. So this is in the notes, um, but you, you don't have to type it. You can just watch. So if you look at this, it says like um, dollar sign, which is the, the jQuery symbol for like things. So it says, hey, jQuery, find me the body element. So there is a body element. And if you have jQuery installed, that function will work, right? And it says, take the HTML and make it just say, hello world. So blow away whatever was there before, make it say, hello world. And add a class for me that says BG success. BG success is a class that's defined by Bootstrap. So this is a test to see if you've got both tools installed. So if I run this on my, my production page, because it this is the Bootstrap version, um, you can see it, it succeeds, it runs, it says hello world. Uh, however, if I open up my local host, which is our just blanked out, nothing's there, obviously this command's going to fail miserably um, because I don't have uh, jQuery and Bootstrap loaded and ready to go. So this is just going to be our test, right? So our goal is to be able to run this command and have it succeed. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to start adding things to our page, right? So right now our page is extremely simple. Uh, it has a, a blank body. Um, it only includes one CSS file, um, and that CSS file is completely blank as we know, right? So let's start adding Bootstrap and jQuery. What I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and visit the, uh, the main Bootstrap page. Uh, so that's getbootstrap.com. And let's go to the getting started area. We're gonna copy some things out of here. I've gone ahead and I've made a reference of the things I copied just in case they change, because things change over time. Um, but we're gonna copy the basic template, uh, some things from the basic template. So you can scroll down to basic template or you can select it in the menu on the right. Um, and so here's what they consider to be a basic template for Bootstrap. So you can see there's things like um, on the HTML element, it says, hey, this page is in English. Things like that. If you want to put it in, I mean, it's fine. There's, there's no harm. Uh, then there's also things like in the head element. Tell what, I'm just going to go and copy the entire head element. And so you can see there's my head element right there. Uh, I guess, I don't know, I'll put it right, I'll put it between these two for no apparent reason. So you can see there's some things that we've already got, right? So this, uh, this char set, uh, UTF-8, we've already got that. Uh, this next one, this is for Internet Explorer. Um, if you want with Internet Explorer, you can use a compatibility version or you can just use the latest. Um, also, if you just left it out, uh, it would. I think you'd get the latest, but I'm going to put it in. Why not? Uh, this next one is, is a detail I don't really want to go into a lot just yet. Um, but it turns out that iPhones lie. Like an iPhone says, hey, my number of pixels wide is 1,000. Um, and if you want to... Um, not get lied to, you, you add this, and then it will really say, hey, I'm 320 wide. Um, but if you add something like this, it's your responsibility to make sure that you adjust uh, as appropriate. Uh, so that's a, a detail. Uh, the title of the page, I've already got a title of the page, I don't need a new title. Uh, and then these other things are where the real magic uh, starts to come in of adding Bootstrap. Um, so the first one is um, include the Bootstrap CSS. Now it turns out that this link right here, this is just like a representative, um, but this link doesn't actually work. So we're gonna have to come back and fix this later. The other things in here, I really don't care about this. This is support for internet nine. Uh, I mean, you can leave it or you can blow it away. I honestly don't care. Um, but what I do wanna do is I wanna reformat this thing. So I just highlighted it and I did a control shift F. Uh, the reformatting sometimes does what I want, sometimes it doesn't, you can see it wrapped that line. Uh, let's go back and steal some more. So we're just kind of looking at their basic template and, and adding it to ours. You can see that their body says hello world. I don't care about that. Um, but then they've got this these scripts at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and copy those scripts. 
uh, and I'm going to paste those and those are just going to kind of be at the bottom of my body. You can see that there are two scripts. Uh, one is to include jQuery. Uh, so this includes jQuery. Bootstrap builds on top of jQuery, so you have to have a copy of jQuery. The nice thing about this link is this is actually a real link, uh, and this actually will go pull in jQuery, right? Um, the Bootstrap link is just representative. Um, this, this one doesn't work, um, of where you might have Bootstrap. So there are two ways to do um, things like jQuery and Bootstrap, including the files that are needed. One is you can have it be on your App Engine site as a static file, and that's fine, or you can use a CDN. Uh, CDN stands for Content Delivery Network, and basically that is somebody else has the file up and you just use their version of it. To be honest, what we're going to do today is we're going to use CDN. So this is a CDN. Um, it's actually pulling jQuery from Google, so Google's hosting it for us. Um, this is an example of a, of a local file, so like if App Engine was storing it, you know, we'd have to say static slash JS bootstrap. We could do that, but then we'd have to physically move the file over. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Bootstrap. So the template kind of showed you the general form, uh, but if you scroll up to the top, you can see here are the actual functional CDN links. So I'm going to grab these top two, these refer to the CSS, and I'm going to paste them in instead of this fake link, right? So this one was fake, this link didn't actually work. Uh, I'm going to instead paste in these two. You notice that I took out one and I put in two. Uh, that's because one of them is the Bootstrap CSS, and then the other one is an optional theme. One of the ways you can customize Bootstrap is you can change themes, and like various people make themes. We're just going to use the built-in theme. Um, it adds minor things like gradients on buttons, uh, but that's about it. All right, that was just the CSS. Let's go grab that other link for the JavaScript. Bootstrap uses not a lot of JavaScript, but it uses some JavaScript, and that's like to make the modal dialog show up and things like that. Um, and you can see that at the bottom here was this fake link uh, that didn't really work. I'm going to blow it away, uh, and I'm going to paste in the one that actually is, is functional, right? And if you want to, you can, uh, you can get rid of some of the, the comments. I don't care. Uh, but at this point, and I will go ahead and do a Control shift f just to reformat it, and maybe I wish I hadn't done that. Time to test it, right? So, before, and this time I do actually want you to test it, before on our live deployed version, uh, when we were in the console window and we typed that magic command, you can see that it did, did that. Um, and on our, our local host version, it said, hey, I have no idea what you're trying to do here, because you're using jQuery commands that don't exist. Um, if we refresh it now, um, now that same command uh, should do stuff, right? So it says, hey, jQuery, find the body, make his HTML, say hello world, um, and then also add the class that's called background success, which will turn it green, right? And so now I run it, uh, and presto, uh, it, it has a green background, it ran it just fine, um, it says hello world. You'll notice this one's in the upper left and this one's not. Um, I can explain that that reason later. Uh, cool. So now we have jQuery. We have Bootstrap. Uh, we can use them to our heart's content. If we uh, if we look at what all we added to do that, uh, you can see that there's some boilerplate things which, which kind of like dilute the real message. But the real message is we included the CSS for Bootstrap just using a CDN. We didn't add any files. We're just saying, hey, pull it from this other place. And then we also added uh, JavaScript for, for jQuery, and we brought in the JavaScript for Bootstrap. We're not using this one yet. This is just like when we show modals and stuff. Uh, but you can see that it's, it's ready to go. All right, uh, that's what we've done so far. Ready to start using these things. See you next time.